I'm a little hard of hearing, so I may, I may talk a little loud. My wife says I have a tendency to do that. Uh, I read the I read the draft. I received a copy of it. I stopped it at the uh, town hall and picked it up. Uh, it was the day before yesterday, and I had a chance to read it because I was concerned about seven building lots that uh, my family owns up on Collins and, and Bethel Street. Um, back in October, I was in here, uh, and uh, I was told that if I could prove that uh, there were laterals going into these various lots, that I would not be charged a public facility charge. Um, and my question was, how, how could I find that out? Do I have to get a backhoe out there and, and, and dig? Uh, I was in front of my office at uh, 207 West Main Street while they were putting the street in, and I talked to one of the, uh, I guess, the uh, foreman or superintendent there, and he says, oh, by the way, we have a, uh, we have a, a laser that we can put down in the manhole and shoot that, and it can, it can locate the laterals. Uh, and I don't know how long the towns had those things. Uh, maybe it was something that you just recently got. Um, but uh, I went down to the public works, and, and uh, they said they would do it for me when they uh, got the street work finished. Um, so I, uh, I called... Uh, Mr. Trossel, to ask him um, if he knows anything about it. And he said, yes, it has been done, and there are laterals that go into your lots. Um, so that's the background. Now I want to ask the questions regarding the draft. Um, those lots, the, the houses on those lots were raised around 1970, and I've continued to pay taxes on the lots, keep the grass mowed, and all that ever since that time. The family has owned them. Um, now, the first question I want to ask uh, regarding the ordinance is, uh, what about properties uh, destroyed by fire or condemned for a period uh, more than five years? We're looking back to 1970. Uh, are they going to be uh, Are they going to be grandfathered? No. For water and sewer. Can it really is restricted to five years if it's permanently disconnected. But that hasn't been. That's not in. That's <coughs> in the proposed ordinance. Absolutely. That we're restricted for five years. Yes. That's not fair. I want you to consider that. The second question, is there any grandfather related, grandfathering related to the new ordinance, and can the grandfathering exceed the five years? No, that's a question I'd like to have an answer to. But the answer is no. Is no. As written. In a, as written. Mm -hmm. Question number three, who determines who gets credits for water and or sewer service connections? Building and zoning. Building and zoning, not the mayor and commissioners? No, building and zoning. But the mayor and People commissioner? If you get a construction permit, they don't go to the mayor and commissioner, they go to building and zoning. Building and zoning. Because mm -hmm. they have all the records. So, building and zoning determines who gets the credits. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think it should be the mayor and commissioners. Okay, the uh, next question, does this only apply to developers or are individual lot owner applicants included? Property owners, doesn't matter if it's commercial, okay. residential or whatever. Well, who qualifies, non-profit or for-profit developers? Property owners. Not property owners. owners. Property owners. Okay. I know of another lot in town that uh, Jimmy Nicholson owns right next to his place of business, that that building was raised. Uh, I, 
don't know when, but is he going to be charged a tap-in fee for water and sewer when he gets ready to build a, a building there, a commercial building? He had water and sewer. Well, I could have a question unless we define the uh, parameters under which the building was torn down and what the time frame is. Then we would respond. We wouldn't yeah. respond verbally. We respond in writing to something like that. I don't know why this limited time frame is involved in this thing. You ought to consider that. Um, does this apply specifically? The question I have on my list is this applies specifically to Cecil County Land Corporation and John Litzenberg, which is my family's company and myself, <laughs> or are we grandfathered? Or does the five years start from the date of ordinance adoption? It will only Sorry. apply at the time it's effective. A law only becomes effective at the time it's adopted. And so that means I would adopt it, but in effect. That means I would have, to, within five years, I have to build something on these lots in order to get the uh, exemption. That's what you're saying. Yeah. That's not right. <coughs> well, I, I like to qualify that because I don't know the lot, the lot size, whether it conforms to current zoning, subdivision regulations, or anything. So it's not as simple as that. Well, that has nothing to do. That has in. nothing to do with the tap in. So what I'm trying to tell you, though, when you asked about would you have to build there, well, whether you can build there uh, from a, on a lot that was raised or a building was raised in 1970, might not might not be able to build there now because it might be non-conforming. I understand and setback requirements, and, and that so I would have to I would have to appeal uh, to uh, change the setbacks. I have to appeal before the mayor and commissioners. So I think you should really look into this and go a little deeper than than what you know your draft has on the surface. I think the five years ought to be eliminated. It's just not fair to the people that own property. Vacant lots. And that's that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Beth. Can you hear me? Hi, I'm Beth Maria and I work in the finance department. I only come here to ask that the board consider an equitable pension plan for the other departments of the town. And additionally, we'd like to establish an open line of communication with the board regarding this matter and hope that at some point that our concerns can be discussed. I'd certainly agree. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Beth. Griff? said that I think that all of the employees deserve some kind of equitable pension plan. <coughs> it, should been, it should have been considered right at the same time that the police's plan was considered. Okay. Thank you. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy? like to take this opportunity to request that the board look on the other town employees, other departments in the same fashion that they have the police for the defined benefit. Thank you. Thank you. 